Okay, if we want to use NetBin 23 for JavaFX 23, you may try to create a JavaFX ML uh, applications. Uh, you won't be able to create a project because JDK 23 uh, doesn't support JavaFX 23. Here also this doesn't support. Only way you can create a project you can start with a Java application. Let's leave it as it is. Then you can deploy or convert to JavaFX application project later on. Okay, we don't really need this particular class. So let's create the Java FX main, other JavaFX. So this way you can actually add all those four classes to Java application project. Then we can deploy as a Java FX application later on. Okay, it doesn't support Java FX library, but well, we can say it doesn't come with a Java FX library in JDK 23. So properties, libraries, we can add, add jar. I have already downloaded JavaFX program files under Java. As you can see, I have JavaFX SDK 23.0.1 on the library. Let's select it all. So our Java application can use JavaFX Okay, all those warnings disappear. Now you can actually run this application. Okay, just make sure you run directly. Okay, here is the JavaFX runtime components are missing. Basically, you cannot locate okay, JavaFX library on runtime. So let's go to project properties and then um, so you can go to run. We call it as a VM options. Okay, you can add the VM options. Just saying uh, that means we can find the module paths on the C drive where I install JavaFX SDK library. And let's say I'm using 23 for these demonstrations. You can copy. Okay, that's uh, where I have uh, JavaFX. I'm going to use uh, two libraries, add modules, and then JavaFX controls. Please be careful, do not leave space after comma, JavaFX and FXML. Okay. Do not use this menu. You you can run it directly. Run file. Okay, it says that um, control not found and okay, initialization of boot error. So this is the time we can convert Java application to Java FX uh, project. So go to deployment. Okay, now we can have option switch project to JavaFX deployment model. Okay, now our project has been uh, changed from Java application project to JavaFX application project. Okay, modify to JavaFX uh, deployment model. Okay. Typically, JavaFX uh, projects, we have FX main, where main methods for JavaFX application. Also, we often have JavaFX FXML for uh, UI design. Also, controller that link with the main. And between FXML, you may use CSS. So let's say OK. 
Okay, let's remove uh, Java application Java. We don't need it. Normally, we have FX application. We have FXML controller main and CSS. That's all. So FXML, this is what we have for now. Let me quickly show you how to modify FXML. Okay, it comes with MT1. I'm using same builder 23.0.1, the latest version. So let me uh, simply just set uh, one button, one label. Okay, button, I will just say OK. Uh, name this uh, button. FX ID is the object name for this button, BTN OK. Even handler, I will say handle BTN OK. Label, OK, I will leave the text. I will name it as a LBL OK. Uh, make sure your controller is the Java application package name FX controller. OK, that's what I have. And make sure you have the same thing. Save it. Then here uh, you have to make controller. Okay, update it because you changed the user interface. FXML. Okay. Call it as a set text. So when I click the OK button, I'm going to print uh, OK button is clicked on this label object. Run it. Do not use the main uh, menu. Okay, say hello world. That's the previous one, not this design. It means you have to make a link between a controller and then FXML in FXML. Okay, here some changes. Okay, as you can see, it doesn't use FXML, so we need to remove uh, that manual design for button and label and implementation. We remove. Here uh, root adding one button we already added using uh, same builder so you don't need that. Okay, instead of using stack pane, I will change to parents that can link with uh, FXML import have FX scene and parents. Here you should be able to link FXML, uh, FXML loader, load, it says uh, get class, get resource, referring to um, name of the FXML file, I have FXML capitalized. And then file extension, lowercase fxml. Make sure you add a package that's the path to your fxml documents. Okay, I think I need to import. Okay, fxml loader, import it. Uh, Java IO, exception handling. Pretty much that's all. Okay, this is a new design using Java FX and Builder. Okay, button is click. Okay, title up here is a hello world. So this is how you use um, 
Start with FX23 with the net pins 23. At this point, the support is very poor from the net pins. You have to do manually uh, config and then uh, make a minor changes here and there. Then you can launch your application.